Families are desperately, desperately calling for police to intervene as criminal activity continues to thrive in Dupslot. Now, numerous people have lost their lives falling victim to ruthless crimes over the past few weeks in that township just north of Johannesburg. A former CPF member was one of those gunned down while trying to foil a robbery in progress. ENC reporter Mangoba Mkulu was on the ground earlier today tracking developments the, uh, in Dupslot. He's back now with us uh, in studio. Good evening, uh, Mangoba. Welcome back. What was the situation like there when you left uh, this afternoon? Well, but then I can say that uh, the situation is relatively calm compared to, to what we saw uh, in the past uh, few days when uh, community members had taken to the streets. Uh, we saw quite violent scenes, but then in Deep Slut, where we saw community members going and destroying some of the shacks and burning them that they say are, you know, linked to some of the criminals that are linked to criminal activity in that particular area. What we saw today was a completely different uh, Deep Slut, quite calm and it was, uh, you know, business as usual. And this is because of the fact that the residents have decided to suspend their action. And the reason why they've suspended this action is because uh, of the engagements that are ongoing uh, between the leaders uh, who are trying, of course, to get the president to come and address the residents. That's what they want. They're saying that they don't want to be addressed by the minister of police. They want the president because the minister of police has failed to give a long-term solution uh, to the issues uh, of deep sleuth. So uh, they, yes, they, you recall, Brett, and they went to the union buildings yesterday where they handed over a letter uh, inviting the president to come to that community. And so pending those engagements, the commitment that was given to them was that on Monday uh, they will be given dates, uh, different definitive dates uh, when they'll be meeting with the ministers, uh, four ministers, the police, justice, human settlement, as well as home affairs, uh, to thresh out the issues, but also to set a date for when the president is going to come to that community. So pending that uh, process, they've decided to suspend this action. But they're saying, pretend that, uh, you know, this doesn't mean that they've stopped. If the president doesn't come to their area, they're going to continue and saying that it's basically on his hands. If uh, there's more bloodshed in, in, in deep sleuth, if there's you know, people that die, it's all on his hands uh, if he chooses not to come to that community. But uh, earlier on, I also caught up with one of the leaders uh, just to get a sense of where they are and in terms of what has been promised to them. And this is what he had to say. There were promises and uh, there were um, commitments that were made on the side of government, to, uh, but uh, proper uh, 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 communication of, of when and how all these uh, uh, commitment that were made will get that on Monday. But I can tell you that the meeting went very well yesterday. Uh, one of the commitments is that uh, before uh, the president can come in our community, we'll have an engagement with four ministers of the, that are, are leading uh, these four ministries that were mentioned on, on the letter. That is a first step in preparing uh, for the president to come uh, the, uh, in our community and, and address us. So on Monday, we are waiting for the dates, how, when uh, uh, are we meeting these, these ministers, and also when do we think they can come in our community, address our community. Uh, I, I, I'm hopeful, we are hopeful that the president will come. Uh, based on the engagement and the urgency of the matter of, 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 of Deep Sloot. Uh, we've been cry, crying for, for quite some time. We, made in, we even made an effort to go to Union Building peacefully. And we believe uh, 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 indeed the president will come. It will mean a lot to the people of Deep Sloot, his presence. Uh, it will mean that indeed he's not just uh, 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 using us as voting cows. When we need him to come in our community, he's able to say, I'm coming to resolve your issues. It does not only come when uh, you want election. Another local leader, Mangoba, the CPF chair, was shot and killed uh, recently. You managed to speak to the family. How are they coping? Well, but then I can tell you that they're not coping at all. In fact, uh, the family is still in disbelief. Uh, they're still trying to, you know, make sense of it all because this was a man that had served this community, somebody who was... Uh, in the front line of fighting crime in that community. He served as a CPF uh, chair for over five years in that community. So this was something that, you know, he took uh, with passion to fight crime because he knew, uh, you know, the criminal activities of that community. So uh, he had, in fact, been going to assist in a crime when he was uh, shot. So he got a call. Uh, it was a Monday evening. 
from one of uh, the foreign shop owners who had told him that there are people that uh, you know want to come to inside his business by force he's trying to break in he had closed his business by then and uh, he had suspected that these are criminals coming to rob him. So he called uh, this former CPF chair, uh, John Makula, uh, to come and assist him. And of course, he went to assist, and this is when then he was shot. He survived for a few days, he was injured, and he was in hospital, and he died on Sunday. So the family is quite in disbelief. Uh, they're still shocked, Braden, and uh, saying that, you know, he shouldn't have died like this. Uh, they, you know, are shocked at the fact that the crime is so out of control in that era that even a man who dedicated his entire life to making that community better was killed in such a, in such a senseless way. But uh, earlier on, I spoke to the family, the wife in particular, and this is what she had to say. because it was a father's day, but little so I see so much longer cool. I wish I I am calling. I wish 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 I am by when which ministers will visit them, when likely the president is going to talk to them. Mm. But tomorrow is another important date from what the leaders told you uh, at Union Buildings. They're going to be giving feedback. How important is that going to be in your view? The community is waiting to hear what's mm. the way forward. They're quite uh, eagerly awaiting, Pratan, because, I mean, uh, their lives are in danger, Pratan. They fear for their safety. Uh, when you speak to them, they tell you that uh, they sleep with one eye open because of the crime levels in that uh, community. You sleep never knowing whether you wake up, whether you know criminals are going to pounce in your house and uh, rob and kill the family because it's the house breakings and robberies that have them concerned because people are shot and killed in those. So uh, they're quite eagerly awaiting this. Uh, of course, uh, from what we saw uh, in Deep Sloot, you can tell how angry and frustrated uh, this community is. It's a community that is, uh, you know, looking for answers, a community that wants solutions, that wants an end to crime. So this meeting will be very important, the public meeting that uh, will be held. We understand it could be today or it could be tomorrow when the leaders are going to take that message back to the community. And of course, it's the community that's going to then, uh, you know, give them uh, a way forward as to what's going to happen. But uh, they're willing uh, to subside uh, the protests up until you know, they have a response from the president's office. Yeah, so tomorrow is going to be important as much as Monday will be in terms of what happens after that. Thank you very much, Mungo Just giving us an update about what's been happening in a deep slot.